Welcome back, everyone, for a glorious day. Subnautica Below Zero modded on my new, you know, glacial basin, hilltop, clifftop base. That's a really nice sunset or sunrise, rather, isn't it? I mean, that looks good. And I had a very good view until the weather came in. So last time I did some more building around the base, some more decorating. Despite the fact I don't have the decorations mod, and I'm kind of limited to more of the vanilla stuff. I still did that and I have one more room left. That is the operations room, the uh, work room, which is the only one that's going to have like another view out here, kind of looking that way, mainly because there's solar panels in the way on that side. So I need a way to make this look like a work room, a room where they're doing processing of stuff, sorting of materials, research specimens, whatever. They're preparing stuff for shipment. I've got to figure out how to make that work without decorations mod and make sure it doesn't look like a, the lab room either. Once again, <laughs> they place down perfectly connected together and I guarantee I'm going to do it in another spot and it's not going to work the same way. And I don't actually need it. Like I've got plenty of solar power, but why not? It kind of can add a little bit to the work room feel. See if I can have the supplies I need. I do. There we go. We've got maybe like the bioreactor is the backup. Something goes wrong. We've got an emergency, you know, power source here. Ooh, yeah, that's nice. A little almost like a pop up workbench type thing. I kind of, oh, let's see how you know, we're going to do this. We're going to do it like this. Almost, it's almost like a pop up desk. Beautiful. Uh, I just need a. Keyboard, mouse, and computer monitor type thing. This actually would work well with the the FCS mods with the new look they have. Maybe, just maybe, they've got something they might need to keep cold. Also works as a mount for picture frame. Oh yeah, okay. Idea on this one, I'm thinking is we tie in some actual like functional stuff. Instead of loading up the walls necessarily with all the tools, what if I have it on here? Oh yeah, like there you go. There's your, uh, oh, it's acting a little goofy with that. There we go. Fabricator mounted there to the side. It looks like it's got a proper backing to it. It's actually sticking in a little bit. <laughs> it's clipping into the, the counters. We'll set up a kind of a general station. Uh, you know, if you got to clean your hands for some reason or whatever, and then like a bat actually battery charger probably doesn't want to be, you don't need it right next to the sink. You know, you, want, you don't want to splash stuff on your electronics. Keeping with the whole desk thing on the end, I don't want to create the exact same desk setup. So we're going to go with this. Oh, so you have still have somebody else. And I think this one will treat like the standing desk. You know, you walk up, you're like tap, 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 does something there. Man, I wish we had the decorations mod. I throw some like robot arms there, like as for manipulating something. You know, that'd be perfect. Let's try this. This is from the first game. Oh, it worked. And uh, it it's placed wrong. I have no way to pick it up. Okay. Well, that works. And I know where I can use this. Spawn starship. Uh, start ship. Starship cargo crate. Boom. Yes. Okay. So I was pointing like this. And so it did the, the corner. So. Uh, I like this. Roughly. Oh, nope. Okay. Oh, so it's only going to spawn facing that direction. Is why I take. Yep. Okay. So that works. I'm going to save after this. I, I think I'm going to try a few decorations like this, even though it's not the best thing to do for that, uh, to put them in the game. I'm going to try it and see what I can get. And since I cannot pick them up or get rid of them, uh, get away. Have at ye. Yeah, it didn't work. So I guess I'm gonna have to save just in case something doesn't work out. I just want to see if this works. Probably not. Oh no, it did. Precursor key white. Now it does show the wrong name for it. Uh, can't scan, but there we go. Precursor key white. Actually, I will take it. 
I got the white tablet and I cannot place it anywhere. Okay, uh, that's not going to work, but I know I can place it down. I'm gonna place that in here, not out there. And since I have seriously no use for it, um, too important, oh, I can't even get rid of it. This is a good spot right here. Bam, like that. Because uh, this is where I would like to imagine I have like an analysis type setup going. Let's just see if this works. Yes, red key. We'll, we'll go American here. Uh, red, white, and blue. And we'll throw the orange tablet there. I don't like doing it this way because I go, you see it colors them completely black. It just kind of blanks them out. But all right, I've got some tablets. Uh, you know, like some research stuff going on up here. The other side is more the animal plant type stuff with the bacterium and everything. This is going to be like the more technical side. Repair tool. Boom. And it's upright. I mean, it's, it's, it's dark. You know, it, right there is not getting any of the lighting effect. But repair tool, you know, like we, we got some tools up here. I think I'm going to, yeah, let's try another one. Boom. Don't, is it, don't you fall over. No, you don't. It's thinking about it. Let's try this. I don't know how this is going to look, but Pathfinder tool. That actually doesn't look that bad. Boom. Oh, yes. Look, that's perfect right there. That looks good. Got to have a fire extinguisher. Right. Boom. Yes. That looks good right there. I'm actually like uh, it's like a target right. Boom. Yay. I'm going to place some more of those down. Yay. Oh, I just had a great idea. Because it makes sense if you're going out on the land area. You might have to ditch. Signal somebody to come rescue you or fight off a snow stalker. Okay, that one didn't work. Can't, just, can't you just, like, drop them? Like... Yeah, can't drop here. Why can't you just do that? I don't know how this is going to work. We're going to try a light stick and it, yeah, it spawned and now it's, it's there. I've got my flashlight. I can't place it down again. Cannot drop it. Can't place it as a decoration like you should be able to inside beacon. Okay. A beacon works, even though it looks like the water based one it didn't convert to land. Uh, I don't know if it. It does. It, nope, it's showing. Okay, so I, I turn off Beacon Four. Okay, enough of that. Let's just try for decorative stuff. Poster. All right, natural selection to poster. Yay! Okay. Um, poster two. No poster two. Poster kitty. Boom. Keep calm, poster. That uh, apparently I never scanned. Oh, and it just disappeared. Okay, so that's acting as the other poster style. Like the, the one you scan uh, instead of actually picking up. That's weird. Spawn lab container. Yes! Okay, so large flask is the lab container. And then we have uh, lab container two, small flask, okay. And then lab container three cylindrical flask. Okay, so I can, even though I don't have the decorations mod, I can still spawn these in. I'm just not using resources to do it. All right, that's it. That's all I've got. It's the only interesting things I could think of and find to try and spawn in. So, uh, and then you see, why don't like spawning stuff in this way? It's nighttime outside and it's acting like they're outside. It's dark, they're dark just does not work out the right way. So I can make computer chips. I cannot place down computer chips. So until I have the decorations mod, we'll throw like some computer chips here. They actually have a very nice look when they're placed down. And I'll throw in stuff like the wiring kit, things like that. I might actually take, uh, you know what? Yeah, I'm gonna take the fridge and this out. 
there's no reason to have a fridge here if we're focusing more on electronic technology type stuff this is not about creating free resources for myself this is strictly to make this look decorative because i cannot go here and say place that down i can't place that down we'll make this like the making station the the workstation where he's like oh i'm working on the wiring i wish oh you know what um there we go we got a laser cutter it's the uh soldering iron well technically it's the mineral detector it's got a nice little kind of scanner style look and that did not work oh i know what it is spawn metal detector because it originally was the metal detector so we get that and it's got like a nice little kind of you know detector style look but we'll also spawn a scanner and will we have a couple of those in there uh like around this like we're scanning it and man i wish i had like a little computer screen Ooh, we you know what spawn pda no PDA. I'm, I'm sure there's a PDA, but it's gonna be like a specific name for each one, and I don't feel like trying to mess with finding one of those to do that. I'm just gonna do the same thing like this. I'm gonna have it like that's the current project supplies he's pulled over, so we're gonna have some extra stuff over here. I'll do a couple of wiring kits on top because uh, they need a little bit more room, and that might finally like settle at some point if not i'm gonna have a weird glitchiness thing Ooh, even better taking this out the modification station with building tweaks will flip upside down and let me mount it to the ceiling so it can function like you're opening it up and it's gonna work on stuff below. like it's a little Almost like a robotic arm type thing is like, bam, look at that. That, yeah, that's like your little assistant welding station or something like that. That at least gives it a nice little vibe there. Like we've got this whole setup, like, oh, you're working here. And like, oh, hey, let me activate this and tell it to do something, you know, or pull down an extra tool out of it. And since that can go on the ceiling, this can go on the ceiling. Let's see how straight that is. Not very straight to do picture frames. So like a terminal, you know, display type of thing again. Boom, look at that. Yes, there we go. Architect body and the containment cube like is part of the research here in this area. And I don't need this for the consumption part. This is just decoration. Like what I would normally be doing with the decorations mod. So I'm just going to throw in some water right here so we at least have the visual of it. And maybe, maybe once there's a new site that takes over from Nexus mods because of them and their changes, just make it feel like, you know, people know when somebody's coming in, if they're over here working. Well, I have the little camera feed type set up there. But yeah, a uh, little bit better. Not much down here. I mean, did throw extinguishers down here main thing is that now we got the water uh and then this is really what was the thing today bioreactor fuel source and this being more of the backup in case something happens solar power failure or something like that maybe they just need that extra little bit of power in the research area right here we got our tablets that are actually not a part of the game anymore the the white tablet and the purple tablets were in the game during early access the white tablet was supposed to be used at some point but they never got that part of the story done and we have actual functional tools on the wall with stuff like this uh and i gotta be careful because basically some of these even though i've already scanned and unlocked the pathfinder it's acting like i still need to scan it it's it's not a picked up version of the pathfinder like the repair tools acting it's acting like it's the fragment version so don't want to scan these but we got two of those we got some flask going up there uh definitely liking that let's take a moment for the picture to kind of render in fully but we got that more of the tablets the red white and blue 
tablets. And then we have our welding uh, electronic station. Everything's gone black because it's nighttime. Uh, but yeah, advanced wiring kit, wiring kit. Use either or if you want to do like this. Doesn't matter, they look the same. Got our computer chips, got the wire. We got a laser cutter, because you know, hotter is the soldering iron. And the modification station, I actually really like that. That feels really good having it right there. And of course, my little side mounted fabricator. And then just more of the same supplies with the wiggling wiring kit. I almost forgot, I threw the cargo crates out here and they just all face the same way. It didn't matter which direction I stood, they placed down facing the exact same way. And of course, you can't move them. So if you want to try this part, save your game first and be careful with where you're aiming. So that is all the new changes to the base. And I feel like this base is pretty much finished now, except for maybe some final finishing touches. And one of those I'm about to go take care of right now. Finally back after a very long trek to the first base. It is time to drop some eye jellies in here, let them make some eye jelly eggs. And basically I'm going to treat these as the ones that are being researched here because of their electric qualities. Or like power generation type of thing is what they're being looked at. And I already did that one. But while I was back, I also grabbed a whole bunch of Arctic peepers to put over here because worst case they can be used as bioreactor fuel so there you have it the last part of this base design as far as for the most part being decorated sure a few little finishing touches but the design itself is fully set up everything's put in and i worked around the fact no decorations mod sure i don't have all the stuff i am missing from the decorations mod like some of the actual decorations that were custom to that mod, but I was able to play some stuff in with spawn commands and make this look a little bit better. And so with that, you know, if you want to replicate some of what I did and you don't have the decorations mod, you don't have mods at all. You just want to do it with some of these stuff you cannot make in the game, like the extra flask, then spawn commands are your friend. You can find the IDs on the wiki and there are some other websites where they just compiled together the list of the IDs. So, you know, go and look for what you need. Uh, of course, you should be able to see all the ones I used today uh, from the spots where I typed it in. So go have fun with that. If you want to do that, just make sure you save your game. And if you're really paranoid, make a backup of your save. But that is it for this video. So if you enjoyed it, hit the like button and leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think about what I've done here with the design on the base today and so far. And if you got any suggestions or you just want to say hi, that's the place to say it. So leave a comment and thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.